This video shows you the complete solution stack of Cisco UCS X series and Red Hat OpenShift together with Red Hat Ceph storage. The solution is based on Cisco UCS X series managed by Cisco Intersight and Red Hat OpenShift based on VMware vSphere and Red Hat OpenShift Data Foundation based on Red Hat Ceph storage. And everything is deployed through Red Hat Ansible automation. In this solution, we used three Xerius blades to deploy VMware vSphere and on top of that Red Hat OpenShift. Four blades were used for installing Red Hat Ceph storage and the integration of Red Hat OpenShift Data Foundation. So this demo now shows you the full deployment of the solution. So in our demo, we have no profiles, pools, or policies applied. There's only a domain profile which is applied. And of course, all the devices are claimed within Intersight. Before we start with the demo, we need to edit the Ansible inventory file and the variable files with the values of our environment. And of course, we need to create an Intersight API key to access Intersight with Intersight Ansible. Now in our first playbook, we create all the policies we need to then create a profile for the specific UCS X series chassis. After the profile gets created, we then deploy the profile to the specific X series chassis. Now the second playbook configures and deploys all the policies and profiles for the X series blades. And this is then for the specific solution parts of Red Hat Ceph storage and the ESXi servers. And as you can see, in the first step, we configure the profiles for the Ceph blades. And then in the second step, we configure the blades for the ESXi hosts. And after that, the profiles getting deployed one after the other. So in blocks, we would say Ceph storage is the first part here with four blades where the profiles getting deployed. And in the second step, we deploy then the remaining three ESXi profiles to the remaining three blades. So the remaining step after deploying the profiles is then to power on all the blades and with powering on all the blades, there's an automated operating system installation. So this process is done through the vMedia install and mounting images of ESXi and RHEL. This is totally automatic. So after that, you get a full deployed operating system on all blades. In the next playbook, you start configuring vCenter to later run OpenShift on the ESXi hosts, and you prepare the Red Hat Ceph nodes for the object storage cluster. The next step then is to start installing the OpenShift container platform as virtual machines on the ESXi cluster. The process takes about 30 to 40 minutes and is done through the IPI installation method. And as you can see, finally, you can start the GUI and check if the container platform is ready for use. Now in our final step in our solution, we install the Red Hat OpenShift Data Foundation operator from the operator hub within OpenShift. To connect the already installed Red Hat Ceph storage cluster, you need to create a JSON file which includes the configuration of the Ceph cluster and put that into the OpenShift Data Foundation operator to get the connectivity to your external Ceph storage cluster. When that is done, you can see within OpenShift that there's a connection established and storage statistics become live. Your whole solution is now ready to run. OpenShift and Ceph are connected and you can now create further persistent containers or storage on the cluster.